Kate Hartman here for your fall sports update, and today we're going to switch it up a little bit in the spirit of homecoming. I'm talking to Mary James, the director of the Alumni House, and how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Good. Um, all right, well, let's first talk about some of the homecoming activities we have going on. What's going on this year? Well, we've got a great year. Sunshine is helping, so we've got a good homecoming parade with our return for the magic theme, and students are really picking up on that for their parade floats. Mm -hmm. We've got hundreds and hundreds of alumni that'll be back for a variety of luncheons on campus, from our 15th reunion cluster to our 50th, 55th, 60th, and 70th reunions that'll be going on at lunch. Um, our all alumni picnic with about 300 in old 77. And down at the athletic department, they have a football oriented reunion and we've got some departmental reunions as well. So that, those are big things there. And then of course the football game and then some more evening reunions. There's a lot going on this year. How does the Alumni House coordinate all of that? Well, we work with a lot of volunteers. We appreciate groups from campus that help us, the Student Alumni Association, of course, um, SGA, Lambda Sigma, Phi, a whole variety of groups are here and they help with things from driving campus shuttles to blowing up balloons that you see around campus to helping us host alumni at different events. And we really couldn't do it without all the student groups. And then we work with, uh, we have at least 100 alumni that are in more formal volunteer positions through the weekend for class reunions and event hosts. And then we have even more alumni that are here in a in more f informal way that are maybe participating in the parade, um, have been calling friends, encouraging them to come back to campus and that way. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is all of the students and group, groups that participate in the parade. I mean, that's right there, folks all across campus that help with that. Have they started making their floats yet for the parade? Do you know? I don't know. I hope they have, but I bet there's a lot of groups that'll be building their floats tomorrow. Whose float are you looking most forward to? It's hard. You know, I never really have a specific one I'm looking forward to, but I'm always interested in seeing how the student groups take the parade theme and run with it. Um, on the homecoming committee, we have some alumni council members that provide leadership for that, but uh, uh, the bulk of that homecoming committee is made up of student representatives, and they pick the parade float or the parade theme each year. So we try to work with students, make sure it's something that'll be easy for them to work with for floats and very visible. So I'm just curious to see what we're doing with the magic of homecoming this year. Oh, it's so exciting. Um, are you personally an alumni of Westminster? I am. I graduated from Westminster in 1984 and came back a few years later and started working in the alumni office in 1989. Are you excited to see some of your fellow alum come back? I am. Last year I had a class reunion and it was fun to see friends and I've got some more friends that will be back on campus. Plus in my position I have the opportunity to meet alumni from all generations, mm -hmm. younger and older, and so there's always lots of folks that I like to see that are coming back each year. And what are the ways the alumni are going to be involved in this weekend besides just, you know, coming around and attending all the activities? Well, homecoming is a special opportunity for us to recognize our accomplished alumni. So Friday evening we will be awarding our outstanding a young alumni award to Denny Wolf, who is a grad that's now with ESPN in their sports activities there and has been an Emmy Award winner. And then we have our outstanding, or excuse me, our Westminster Alumni Citation recipients. Um, and we have three of those, Fritz Evanoff, Stephen Gould, and um, John Wilson, and they have all made interesting accomplishments in different areas, and it's wonderful to hear what they're doing, and it's a real tribute to see what the liberal arts education is doing, from folks that have been longtime supporters of Westminster and successful in their careers to doing a lot of mission work and helping with um, students and people locally and other overseas, and then musicians as well. So it'll be interesting this year. And then during the day, some students may meet um, some different alums that we have back that are back as alumni lecturers and spend time in classrooms talking with students sharing their professional experience and advice. So we try to mix a little bit of uh, recognition, professional advice time, and different ways to be involved with alums throughout the weekend. Oh, well, this is really good. I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you so much for talking to me. I'm Kate Hartman with your fall sports update on your home for Titan Town Sports, Titan Radio, Digital 88.9 FM.